tap on new project to create new project select the video with which you want to create a freeze frame effect click on add as soon as you click on the add the video is added to the main track now we need to find the timing where we want to create the freeze frame obviously depending upon the video it will vary in our case we will see where it will be cool to create this freeze effect so if i drag the timeline and okay around here it will be no a little bit behind okay here it will look cool because the ball baseball is also in the frame and the player is trying to hit so this will be the good moment where we want to introduce let's say a baseball player in the video so it will freeze at this moment and then uh, some animation if you want to add we can add so tap on the video and as soon as you tap you should be able to see an option called freeze at the bottom so what it will do we will just see so tap on the freeze as soon as you tap that particular frame has been copied as a photo and then the timeline of that photo is around 3 seconds so what that option did was it splitted the original video yeah so on the left hand side is uh, the the left part of the video and then after this freezed frame uh, on the right hand side there should be the rest of the video and if you preview then the video will play it will stop and then it will continue running yeah so but currently it doesn't look uh, so cool and to make it cool we need to do few tricks okay so tap on it go to the filters you will need the internet connection for filters to load that is the only disadvantage of the CapCut app that it needs internet for filters different animations and the effects go to the black and white and let's try different options brown black and white one black and white this this looks good because it's giving a lot of contrast click ok now while that layer is selected let's copy it as soon as you copy it's added again after the freeze frame but we want it on the overlay layer so while the second or the copied frame is selected you should see overlay option tap on that as soon as you tap it's moved on the another layer which is the overlay layer and let's match it to the original frame in the main track by holding and dragging on the left hand side so they should like overlap with each other so yeah now it's okay but the overlay layer we don't want it black and white we will change the filter back to the origin so while the overlay layer is selected go to the filters and just click on this circle with let's say a line uh, inside it so it will cancel that effect as it is on the top of the main track you can see again the whole thing has become colorful so while the overlay layer is selected go to the option which is called remove background because we just want our player to be highlighted in the frame so tap on that as soon as you tap now you can see the background has been removed now it is black and white because uh, we have additional frame at the top in the main track which is black and white and then on top of it we have the overlay layer so if i try to move and move it then you can see that it's on the top of the original video so let's go back to the original position then zoom in because this will give a really cool effect yeah when it's a little bit zoomed in let's preview the video 
you see so it looks really cool because it's like slightly zooming in the background is going black and white and only thing now we want to do is to add the text animations um, like introducing that player so go to the timing where the freeze frame is effect is starting around here click on text click on or the tap on add text and write paste ball click ok select that text layer go to the style because you want to change the style of the text um first change the font to let's say which one will look cool yeah falcon let's select the falcon then change the color to the red to match to the player's shirt and background i don't know a little white color yeah this looks cool to me then with two fingers or use this anchor and try to rotate it and you can also resize it using that anchor so around here we will position and let's add the animation to it click on animation so the in animation we want to add um, let's check which one will be better uh, i just want to have a let's say wipe animation so wipe right and you can change the timing of the animation make it a little faster yeah 0.3 second looks okay click on okay and then copy that text and edit it instead of page ball right player move it a little bit down and check the position and we will try to animate it once the baseball animation is completed and after that yeah like this and let's trim the right hand side so that it finishes around this point and let's preview the video yeah it looks cool and only thing is remaining is now the audio to add the audio you should tap on add audio button which is just below the main track then tap on sounds you can either add a sound or audio from your device by tapping on the from device you can also extract it from any another video which is available on your phone or there are different inbuilt categories inside the CapCut app and they also have their own library of the music so i have already found one music or the audio which matches to the video on which i am creating the tutorial it is under the bit category and the name of that audio file is saw i don't know if you will be able to find the same file um, because i think it uh, varies depending upon your country or the location i mean this library uh, click on the plus button to add the audio and let's preview it i don't know if you will be able to hear the internal sounds uh, of this app but let's play so you can see that exactly when the beat is dropping this freeze frame effect is starting so you need to make sure that the bits are matching only then it will uh, look cool yeah so thanks for watching this tutorial if you like this video then click on the like button subscribe to my channel i have a playlist about a light motion tutorials capcut tutorials which you can find inside the description so please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials stay safe stay healthy and thanks for watching again